Thank you. Dear graduates and dear guests and dear staff, my name is Philipp Ratgeber, and um, I started my journey with the KLU in 2013. So it's almost exactly 10 years ago when I first came here, and I was nervous um, whom was going to be meeting and how the journey was going to go. Well, in short, it went well. <laughs> Otherwise, you would not, I would not be standing here right now speaking to you as an alumni of this uh, university. Now, my major was in the MBA in Leadership and Logistics, as it was then called. And so I want to tell you a short story on these two aspects. And it goes like this. Actually, uh, it should not have been me giving the speech to you, but Brian Perez, a very fine colleague engaging for the KLU and his capacity as being the president of the Alumni Association. He works in the finance sector, so he would have come from Frankfurt, which uh, would have already involved some logistics, because I'm sure he, uh, I'm not sure if he could easily have made it this morning with considering traffic jams on the Autobahn or delays with the Deutsche Bahn, right? So with these risks in your supply chain, there should always be a plan B, right? You should have a network around it to give it resilience. Now, it so came that Brian got sick and could not travel, or, uh, or he risked uh, spreading viruses across the country, all right? So, but he still felt committed to deliver this speech. So he contacted me yesterday and asked if I could fill in. I said, you know, I'm in Washington, D.C. now, so let me take the plane at 1 a.m. If I make the connection in Copenhagen at 8, I'll be in Hamburg at 9, I'll be leaving the airport at 10, so I should just make it for the speech at 11. But I can't wear a shirt and tie because um, the KLU doesn't have an ironing board set up for me at that time. So I have to wear a t-shirt, <laughs> right? It's all about logistics. Um, all I had to do was write this speech. So uh, I can really relate to the challenges in uh, speech writing 100%. <laughs> so I will tell you uh, what I did there. Uh, I was in a conference in Washington, D.C. It's called the Network of Procurement Professionals and International Organizations, the NPIO. And the main themes were, uh, apart from generative AI, uh, sustainability and procurement and supply, and talent development. So I believe you all um, to be well positioned with that stuff. I was speaking to people in humanitarian logistics, uh, being responsible for the supply of fuel and food to the peacekeeping missions of the UN, and to experts of the supply chain of human trafficking and its impacts. And all this in the context of data, of information, money essentially, running through our systems in the most efficient way possible. This is just to give you a glimpse on the breadth and depth of what you may be doing or engaging with in the future, well positioned with the degree you have obtained from the KLU. So in all, I did make the connection in Copenhagen. I had to run, I can tell you. And I delivered the speech in a thread through t-shirt. <laughs> Point of the story is, the logistics to set this up for you were already challenging. But what got me to buy into it was the leadership that Brian showed when he conveyed his commitment to you, future alumni, to have the speech, and to me to be able to rely on his network as his fellow alumni. So be sure to buy into this leadership and rely on the network of alumni you have gained with, through your graduation today. Congratulations.